Hey there. Welcome back. We're doing a classic Parasso red shave today using a razor I haven't used before. Before I get to that one, I did just get a new addition to the shaving arsenal. I have a leaf rose gold, which wouldn't have been my first choice, but I honestly don't hate it in person. Uh, this is the thorn. Uh, I traded JD that SR71, the holy black razor that I got for free, uh, for this because he doesn't use it. And we'll see how it goes. I've tried single edge yet again. And it actually will there. fit in my razor stand. Yay! Didn't know if that was going to work or not. Uh, today we're going to be using a, the. Oh, let me get the box. I meant to get the box before I started, but. Here we are, here it is. The Eel Piccolo Storto. So it's the open comb slant from Fatip. Uh, this is a gift uh, for Christmas actually, so we're like six months away from that, uh, from, to me from from Fias. So thank you again Fias for that. I haven't used it yet. I have used one Fatip. It was Scott's, I want to say it was a lot thicker than this. Definitely brass material here, gold-plated brass. Um, if you don't know about them, they're reasonably inexpensive, and uh, they're made in Italy. But the QC is hit and miss, so. When I use Scott's, which is one of his favorites, because it's a daughter, his daughter gave it to him. So again, I appreciate him loaning that out because of the sentimental value attached there. Um, I got a good shave, but I, I had an inexplicable number of weepers. I seem to recall Scott telling me that I didn't know how to shave. So, um, with a slant razor, you just shave the same way you normally do. That's why I always kind of steer people away from the Parker semi-slant. I say you go full slant or don't go, because that's a weird angle to figure out. Some people really like it. Um, I hated shaving with that. With, with, uh, with the grain, great. Uh, all the other passes, hit and miss. But I had a lot of weepers, good shave. But um, I think that's part of the reason I've put off using this razor for so long. But not anymore and i thought since i'm going to be using the razor made in italy i might as well break out the parasso as well oh uh, the blade normally i like to run a silver blue in a razor i haven't used before but i didn't have any single-use silver blues on hand so i'm using an, a second use astro i also like to make sure the blade isn't a dud in a razor that i trust normally before i test it so but as you can see Hopefully you can see the blade show. It looks good on there. So without further ado. You know, if you've not used a slant before, you probably look at any slant and that bend is just wicked. It's like a, um, Oh, I, I had a Lions reference all lined up and then I forgot the guy's name, but it's the bend you look for in a good pa outside pass rusher, let's put it that way. Very gentle though. They look scary. So if you're scared of that, that open comb probably makes you think, oh, it's going to be so aggressive, but a lot of the more aggressive open combs are because like I always reference the the single and double ring they they they're ancient they're the originals so they they kind of they're wicked uh one of the gentlest razor it was so gentle i got rid of it after one shave that i ever used was a gillette senator i thought oh open comb it'll be no it was i was like that i can't mm -mm. oh just because something's open comb don't assume that it's um 
that's gonna mess you up. I won't show you the slurry. That's for that's only for our premium subscribers. But uh it's taken it's taken days worth of growth off, no problem here. So I think you know we'll check in again on the razor itself when we come to the additional pass. I'm probably just gonna do a against the grain. I don't know yet. I never know. We'll see. But let's talk about you know most of us know Paraso is is good stuff. It really is, especially for how affordable it is. I have a uh, the Prima Dopa kit that came with the pre-shave, which I already put on, the tube of, of soap, which they actually twist on like an actual like hole, as opposed to every other shaving cream I have that comes in a tube, the tip's busted off. I'm just rough on the tip, just the tip, I guess, but um, they're, they're basically useless. My Barbus, my travel size, Tops, German Street, um, anything I've ever had in a tube is, yeah. The problem is like buying them in tubs, if you don't, I like to buy them in person in tubs because sometimes you get them and they're dried out and you're like, I wouldn't have bought this. But if I know them. Still usable, but it's not a cream anymore. But creams in general, if you're a beginner out there, creams are so easy to lather. Like, I kind of rejected them in the beginning because I don't even know why. I think I bowl lathered one once and it was awful, but I didn't really know what I was doing. But let me just show you real quick how to lather up again. So, of course, you got the Captain's Choice Bowl, which is gentler on my. Simpsons brush. This is the show you that here. Oop. Commodore X3. Uh, obviously, when I think Captain's Choice, I first think of shaving cream. I know they make a soap, not used it. I think they're more known for their creams than they should be. This bowl, obviously, fantastic for lathering shaving creams. The 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 copper bowl here. So, if you're new out there, or if really if you're just, I I can't recommend shaving creams enough. And I'm not the only one who thinks that, like you're gonna find lots of people that have said that well before now, but it's true. And that's why, you know, if you're new, and a lot of places are doing more and more samples nowadays, like the razor companies catching up with maggards. Most of them, you can get your Taylorville Bond Streets, you can get Parasso. You know, this is shea butter and sandalwood. Um, I'm getting it everywhere. This is an old t-shirt. I'm gonna go out today. I'm gonna have to maybe change my t-shirt, but, um, you know, you can get samples now. Granted, a tube of Parasso costs like 10 bucks. But they have like four kinds, so maybe you get the sample, figure out which scent or whatever you like. I know one of them is maybe vegan. I think the white or the blue is vegan. They have different scents. The green, of course, is the classic. Um, eucalyptus, menthol, but I really like the red. I like sandalwood. It's meant for curly beards like I have, so I'm a fan. Check it out. I don't know, like I can't, I'm pretty sure you can go anywhere that, like anywhere that sells shaving cream in Italy is going to have Parasso, from my understanding. Never been, but that's my understanding of it. I can't say the same for, um, you know, the the teeps, if they're all over in Italy or not. You know, I can't walk into any, you know, I can walk in any store and find Gillette, but I can't guarantee I can walk into any store in the States and find any sort of DE, let alone one that's made in the country. So, in the country. Squeak there, sorry. All right, let me get a quick. Oh, it's also delicious, Parasso is, apparently. Let's get this going here. I don't know if you can hear. There we go. The uh, whole 
point of the slant, obviously, Jonathan talks about it, guillotining the hair, as opposed to what normally does, the extra torque on the blade. Not only, every TE is gonna bend the blade, which is gonna create that tension that you're looking for, but the, the slants go one step further and also twist it a little bit and shape it in that way, so you're, you know, you're getting more coverage. But yeah, he really liked the SR71. And I didn't dislike it. I just don't want to look. I looked at it for so long in my stand. I don't like the way it looks. I don't like the chodiness of it. Um, so I was more than happy to, when he really enjoyed it. Now, if Sack ends up enjoying it just as much, I already traded for this thorn. So Jonathan and him can work that out, but I'm out. I have yet to have a shave with any single edge that I thought was great. My dad, my mom and I got my dad a, a twig last year or the year before. And he didn't care for it. I, I can't remember if I borrowed, if I did borrow it, I definitely didn't film with it. Um, he had a supply co back in the day. I didn't like that at all. So I tried an, and I tried a different injector sh like shit from Scott and I had a gem and I tried, I think it, at least one or two shaves with the gem style blades. I just, I don't like it. So no, the thorn and twig, they're using actual DE blades that are just cut. They're not injector. They're not, um, Gem style, which are thicker. So I'm, I just want to make it work. And worst case scenario, I said, well, you know, SR71, it's like Dwight Trude's paper clip. Worst case scenario, I can just keep trading it until I get something I do want. And then I can give it all away for magic beans. Yeah, I gotta say, this is not anywhere close to the most aggressive razor in my den. I think I'm gonna just do a quick across the grain in this area here. But I'm I'm happy with the results thus far, and I don't, oh, I missed this spot, hold on. I don't yet detect any weepers. I was like, shocked when I used Scott's Fatigue, because I didn't feel it cut. I don't remember what blade I used in it, it was probably a silver blue. But yeah, when I got done, I was just like, oh, like three, four weepers. Just, I was like, oh man, okay. You know, normally if you're using like a feather, which I don't use, you don't feel it hit. You don't feel the cut. You use a nasset, you feel the cut. At least I do. Okay, so let's do this here. So I don't know. So we're playing with fire, folks, as far as I'm concerned. Let's just do a quick... In the thick areas. Now with Parasso and shaving creams, since you, you can always add more to it if need be, I like to just kind of go big from the beginning with it so that you don't have to go back and add more. So I actually ended up doing an asterisk with the tube, you know, shush, shush, shush. and I mean, I have plenty here. So, oh, I didn't mean to go up that high. Oh, I gotta rinse that off. Yeah, let's just get this section. I feel good about this dash, let's, it's not bad. My, Coarse facial hair likes to grow right up under the nose. Like right up to like almost into my nostrils. TMI, I don't care. 
It's a pain, though. I grow a good mustache, but... Yeah, I mean, I like it. It's got a good weight to it, the handle specifically, especially for how short it is. I like that it's as short because it does kind of remind me I pull over my actual vintage slant here. This is a vintage Mercure from probably like the 60s. If you look, they're about the same size. This has more traditional knurling, you know, as you can see here. This, these little grooves are actually quite grippy. I was surprised. Um, it, it's a good design, I like it. And it definitely weighs more than the vintage Mercure, but Put it right there, right, back to, right next to my thorn. Looks like a thorn's probably gonna end up going on the outside of that thing. All right, I'm gonna rinse this off real quick, come back, do the post, and we'll be done. All right, the other new addition to the den, if you can see in the background here, accidentally bought myself a Lancaster black sheep. Initially bought it for my dad. There was a really small drop at the Razor Company going into Father's Day weekend. I did. Did not do my hair well today. I think, I think my barber may have left a little strip. I don't know, did he go that way? I don't know. Figure it out. It's oil based today. I don't really care. <sighs> it's a bit long on that side. I don't know. It might be perfect. I don't care. Worst case scenario, I'll change my shirt and stick it all back anyway. It's called a day, right? Take my word for it. Um, what was I talking about? Yeah, the Lancaster bought it from my dad and then I realized like, as I was looking at it, I'm like, this is, this just fits perfectly right here, right? So, hand wash that. Wear gloves when you hand wash it. I looked like a zombie, I had zombie hands because uh, there was some bleed. So I was just like, oh, just covered in, you know, some a little bit of black dye. It wasn't, it just made my hands look really old. It wasn't like a, a uh, you know, to like dye my hands black or anything. All right, so. Gonna use, uh, yeah, a chisel. But yeah, I haven't really had a chance to use the Lancaster that much yet, but so far I like it. Yeah, I'll have to fix that. Ignore that for now. So the nice thing about using oil-based is, unlike water, it's not like fully locked in. Like reselling your hair with a water-based pomade with wetting the comb or whatever is one thing, but like, if you're gonna reset like your part and everything, which I think the part's where it needs to be. I think we just need to do some more blending here, maybe. It's grown, it's overgrown a bit right there. But I don't even know when my next haircut's gonna be because my wife's having surgery tomorrow. So whenever that ends up being. <laughs> Get the Barbado, which does just look real good with this whole line up here, right? I didn't take the thumbnail picture yet, but I think between all the gold in here and the red, and the creamy handle here and the copper on my uh, bowl. We're gonna have a, a handsome picture that I'll put together later. All right, Barbado is gonna make me choke. <laughs> there it is. I swear by it though. I have, do not remember the last time I had irritation from a shave with this stuff. <clears throat> Like, unless I find out this stuff gives you cancer or something, it's gonna be in the den. And if they ever go out of business, I'm gonna buy a case. I want, I'm gonna buy a lifetime supply. All right. Normally I let that set for a minute. Uh, another thing I've been using lately, this is Cremo Blue Cedar and Cypress Eau de Toilette. Um, I know a lot of people really like this. And I was like, it's like 25 bucks and you're like, it's not much for an EDT. And I'm like, if it's not a good EDT though, so I was kind of like looking at it. I'm like, I'm not gonna spend 25 bucks on an EDT 
from the drugstore or whatever. And then I was at TJ Maxx, the gift card, and they had one on their clearance section for like 10 bucks. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get that. And honestly, it's good. It's surprisingly good. Um, I already sprayed it on the areas of my t-shirt covers. So let me spray it on there. Never do that first people, cause that will scorch you up. Now it does usually come with a nicer cap, but somehow I lost that already. I still have the box though. So this is like my sacrificial bathroom EDT for like when I um, don't want to waste, like if it's like a night shave or something, I still want to wear something or it's like hot and smoggy today with all the forest fires in Canada, our air quality is really bad. So I'm like, I'm not gonna waste my good stuff. So I've got this, it just lives in my bathroom. You shouldn't do that, especially with really nice EDTs. I don't really care, it's 10 bucks. And so we're gonna use the aftershave lotion, Parasso matching over here. So this is a sandalwood and shea butter. I, I don't, they're not gonna, they're not gonna clash. If anything, the sandalwood will just add to this. It'll layer it, I don't care. It's not like this is gonna last all day. But yeah, so Petit Piccolo, First time on camera, round two with a fatigue slant. I liked it. It's a good one. You can get them for like somewhere between thirty and forty dollars from and most razor retail retailers will sell it. Um, but yeah, I think if you're curious, pick it up. Super gentle. Um, like I said, it's not even in the middle pack in terms of aggressive razors that I have in my collection. I would, I mean, I don't have like a I mean, I got R41, I got the Ambassador. We'll see where the Thorn ranks. Um, eventually, once I get the last razor I'm really pining after, which everyone knows is the Overlander, I'll do a collection reveal or whatever. Um, but yeah. Anyways, uh, as always, thank you for stopping by. We're going to call that a shave, uh, and we'll catch you next time.